Hello friends, welcome to Node.js interview question series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question in the series. Question is, what is the difference between asynchronous and non-blocking? So these two are quite similar terms, asynchronous and non-blocking. So what is the difference between these two? Well, asynchronous and non-blocking are quite similar in nature when we do programming for it, but there is a subtle difference here. Asynchronous means that our API will return immediately after calling it. Like we just called it and the, the request is recorded and it will come back. And in the background, it will start a process that will fulfill our asynchronous request. Once the process is complete, our work is done. So that is asynchronous. Like we just fired a event and that event is getting processed. And afterwards, when that event is totally done, our work is done. But our main thread is not waiting for that process to complete. So that is asynchronous. Whereas in non-blocking, if our API cannot complete the work, it can return an error immediately. So non-blocking means if the API is not able to finish the work, it will first try to finish the work. If it does cannot, then it will say the error immediately. For example, based on the response, success or error, we can decide if we want to make another call to the same API or continue with the next operation. So we can create a wait mechanism in a non-blocking operation. And by that, what we can do is that we can wait for some few seconds or few milliseconds. And after that, we decide whether we have to throw error or we have to say it's a success. Because sometimes a resource may not be available for some time, but within a few seconds or few milliseconds, it is available again. So next question is, what is the difference between Node.js and Ajax? So we have JavaScript based frameworks, Node.js as well as Ajax. So what is the difference? Well, Node.js and Ajax, they use JavaScript in the backend implementation and due to this, they appear similar in nature, but there are fundamental differences between these two. It's not only just the JavaScript similarity, there are fundamental differences. Ajax is simply asynchronous JavaScript and XML so this is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. This is like a short form for it, Ajax. And this is a client side technology. And it is mainly used for asynchronously handling the page refresh requests. So like if you do not want to refresh the like whole page, only some specific parts, then we use Ajax. Like we have sites like Facebook, Gmail, they all use Ajax. So using that, we can dynamically implement the self-loading pages, and Ajax is mainly executed in client browser. Whereas Node.js is a server-side technology and it is implemented in JavaScript and it is used for developing enterprise level software. It can, we can use Node.js to develop very large software and Node.js is not executed in client browser, it executes in server. So it's like server-side scripting. So there is a main difference. Ajax is on the client side and Node.js is on the server side. 